guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. And today we're checking out the homes of Sherry Shepard, as well as what that part of her life is like behind closed doors. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now, let's get into this video. At the offset of their relationship around 2012, Sherry Shepard and her former husband, Lamar Sally, couldn't have appeared happier. Not only did Lamar embrace being a stepfather to Sherry's then seven-year-old son Jeffrey, but together they moved into what Sherry considered to be her dream house, a nearly $2 million home in Allendale, New Jersey. This picturesque looking mansion came complete with a gorgeous front yard, boasting a ton of grassy lawns as well as some well manicured foliage. Meanwhile on the inside, the living room included wooden floors, high ceilings and a ton of open space. The kitchen offered custom cabinets with marble countertops and an extra wide kitchen island with optional bar seating. Sherry and her family could share their meals in an elegant, formal dining room with a chandelier hanging down from the ceiling, which sat over top a somewhat unusual marble dining table. Upstairs were three bedrooms with a spare office, including Sherry's master suite, which offered enough space to include its very own cozy sitting area in the corner, and a sleek looking ensuite with a deep set soaking tub, as well as an all glass shower stall. And on the very top floor, you could find a guest suite with its own little kitchenette, as well as a few different plush leather couches to relax on. Finally, down in the basement, Sherry and Lamar set up their own home theater with a screen projector that's adjacent to a nearby game space. But what might have been the biggest highlight was this gorgeous backyard that included not only a classic looking swimming pool, but a canopied seating area and an accompanying wet bar for all their entertainment needs. Picture perfect, right? Well, it sure seemed that way for about two years, but then everything changed. In 2014, Sherry filed for divorce from Lamar, leaving him floored and heartbroken. And not just because their relationship was coming to an end, but because the couple were only a month away from having a surrogate deliver their newborn son. It would later be revealed that Lamar, a former TV writer and occasional school teacher, never had his name added to the deed of the home he shared with Sherry, and she wound up putting the home on the market herself after giving Lamar the boot and sending him back to LA. Sherry would then eat a small loss when she sold the property for around $1.72 million, which was roughly $100,000 less than what she originally spent on it. After getting rid of the house, Sherry continued to shore up her finances and told Lamar that she wanted nothing to do with the child, even going so far as to refuse to pay child support. When the child was finally born, Sherry never made the trip to meet him, but she did manage to trek all the way to court in the hopes of exempting herself from any legal or financial responsibility. Despite that, the court actually ruled against Sherry, and following a denied appeal, they ordered that she must pay around $4,000 a month in child supports until the boy is 18 years old. I don't know about you guys, but that wasn't the kind of story I was expecting to find. It's crazy how fast things can go from picture perfect to a nightmarish scenario just like that. At the end of the day, this type of behavior just wasn't what I was expecting from Sherry largely because she generally presents herself as someone who's very caring. After serving as Wendy Williams' season-long guest host, Sherry Shepard was given the opportunity to host her very own talk show for this upcoming season, titled Simply Enough, Sherry. The show is set to premiere this month, but in order to embrace this new opportunity, Sherry had to pack up the life she'd been living in LA for these past couple years and head back to New York City. Rather than simply handle all of this on her own, Sherry made something of a spectacle of her cross-country move. With the help of the Hertz Moving Company, she packed up her belongings in Los Angeles and had them driven all the way to Manhattan. Once her belongings arrived in New York, Sherry would once more let go of her past by handing out a ton of her former household items to people on the streets. She explained to People Magazine, You want to hold on to everything, but what I've learned is that you have to let go of things, because if you hold on to the past, it doesn't fit into the new space of energy that you are living in. I gotta say I get what she's going for with that sentiment, but that's definitely not how she treated her former family. Anyway, Sherry handed out a ton of furniture, shoes, clothing, and even appliances after she posted up at a Hertz location in Manhattan. After giving away so many of her former belongings, Sherry then moved into a brownstone 
Blackstone that she owns in New York's Harlem district. I believe it's a property that she's owned for at least the past few years, but unfortunately, outside of an appearance on HGTV's Celebrity Holiday Homes, which is also nowhere to be found, Sherry hasn't given us a taste of what this house looks like. But once she's all settled in, hopefully she'll open up and share some of her new surroundings with the rest of us. Well, that's gonna bring our Sherry Shepherd house tour to a close. Let me know what you thought of where she used to live in the comments below, or more importantly, if you knew about that story about her ex-husband and son. I sure didn't. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I will see you all in another video. Bye. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone.